Sexy Tarot. Aquarius, this will be your edition of Sexy or Messy. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe. Hit the notification bell if you would like to be notified when I go live. Aquarius, this edition of Sexy or Messy, this is how this is going to work. This will be you, Aquarius. This will be your person. This will be the challenges that you're facing, and this will be the potential outcome. We will host the mutual in the mutual energy between you and your person here. All right, you are the second zodiac sign I'm reading for with sexy and messy. Let's get started. Let's see which is if your situation is sexy and messy on a crack. All right, Aquarius. Okay, some of y'all dealing with a Scorpio. I feel like you know what's going on too. <laughs> Let me tell you why I say that because this was Scorpio's um card coming out. I feel like you know what's going on too, Aquarius. Some of y'all done with an Aries or a Scorpio. Aquarius, I feel like your intuition done told you something and, and shit popping off. Like something was revealed to you, and I feel like it got you pissed the hell off. One good shuffle for the Aquarius. Mm. Queries, I don't know. Y'all starting all kind of rough here. Spirit, is, it, is, is Aquarius the situation sexy or messy? Is Aquarius situation sexy or messy? All right, Aquarius, you are represented by the king of wands. Your person, Aquarius, is represented by the devil. Oh, child, let me slide this. These mother lovers, damn. All right. The challenge between you and your person is the three of wands. Well, where the hell are they going? Or where you going, Aquarius? Because these your wands. All right, I'm chill. And this is the potential outcome. Aquarius, the mutual energy between you and your person is the knight of wands. Really? I'm shocked. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius energy. So y'all both playing around on each other. Oh, listen, 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 listen. Don't lie to me. Don't lie to me. At the bottom of the deck, you had an eight of wands. You had a six of pentacles and strength. You like look sexy. Some of y'all dealing with Leo. You was like, I'm trying to hold back. I'm trying not to walk away from their ass. It ain't fair. But yeah, sexy, you know, they, would, they did it to me first, so I'm doing it to them. I don't know if you actually took the actual action. And the reason I say that because strength is here. But you thinking about it, you like, I'm hearing that um, when kids used to play the games, um, here we go, Zudio, Zudio, Zudio. And this is one part that be like, um, we could do it. No, it's punch it, Punchinella. And it be like, we could do it too, Punchinella, Punchinella. And I feel like that it was done to you first. And you might be thinking about doing it to them. I feel like you, you, you negotiating this in your head, Aquarius. Mm -hmm. Well, well, Aquarius, look. You are representing the King of Wands. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Energy. Um, you tell me you about to take action. You about to take lead on something. This passionate, too. So let me see why Aquarius is representing the King of Wands. Doesn't matter if you're male or female. Why is Aquarius uh, acting as a... Okay. Okay. Mm. Some of y'all definitely dealing with Scorpio. At the bottom of the deck, you have Philia Love. And the card reads, don't lock, don't lock into tunnel vision on romantic love as the only possibility for the situation. Some twin flames are better off as friends. See, see, Aquarius, don't lock into tunnel vision. See, and I'm looking at that damn, them dice over there, intensity. Mm. And the card reads. <laughs> The intensity of the connection is very strong, deep, and intense. It is so overwhelming, you may run from it. An awakening. 
your twin is awakening to your connection and they they're ready to put in the work to manifest a reunion in the 3d world expect some progress so aquarius i feel like this is a um tactic of yours i'm sorry but i feel like um you about to take action i feel like it's a tactic i feel like you love this your person i feel like that it's intense but i also feel like you have some other options i feel like whatever it is you're doing you're not just focusing all your attention on your person i feel like it's another connection here and you're using it to wake your person up with awakening yep i do aquarius i feel like you taking action due to this attachment Due, due to this attachment all right i feel like you attached to this person and you want to take the lead and you want to take charge of this and the attachment reads get to know your attachment pattern so you can be more conscious in your romantic relationships and stop stop self-sabotaging and i feel like aquarius whatever it is you're doing you might be testing the waters Not all of you, but some of y'all testing the water so y'all can see what move your partner, what don't move your partner. For some of you, Aquarius, you could be taking action to get to know your um yourself better. Like, why am I so attracted to this person? Why am I so attached? Because y'all could have been arguing or something and you could feel like you sabotaging something. So... But I see you taking pas passion and action towards some sort of attachment. Spirit, tell me about this passion and action Aquarius taking towards this attachment. Tell me about this action. At the bottom of the deck, you had missed chances. You have sweet song and higher self. And I just feel like you listening to your intuition. And I feel like it's somebody that's sweet on you or you sweet on them or y'all just sweet on each other, Aquarius. And I feel like your initial person made you miss these chances. And I feel like they was out here doing what they wanted to do, but I'm going to get to that. All right. Um, and it could be vice versa, but Aquarius, I feel like you listening to your intuition, your higher self, and there's something really sweet here, and you don't want to miss the chance on it. You don't want to miss the opportunity. And because you don't want to miss the opportunity, Aquarius, you're about to make a move. You're about to make a move. Mm-hmm. The time is now. Someone is planning to take action or it's time for you to make a move. And I feel like Aquarius, there's some passionate action that um, you about to take the lead on to attach to somebody. You about to make a move. I know what I'm feeling. I feel like both of y'all doing it to each other because that's your mutual energy spirit. And if this ain't your read, maybe you want to check out your rising Venus or moon spirit. Tell me about make a move for Aquarius. What is Aquarius about to make a move on? What is Aquarius up to? Uh -huh. Oh yeah. See, see at the bottom of the deck, you have fear. You have abundance and comfort. And Aquarius, you like, but I'm comfortable with my person. And I fear losing the security. I fear losing the comfort of the security. We might have some joint assets or resources mixed in together. Y'all might actually live together. So you fear losing this abundance, right? So you want to make a move, but you attach to somebody. However, you're not going to make the move just yet. You thinking about it. You thinking about it. But you you had a couple opportunities to make a move, but you ain't make it yet. But you thinking about it. Yeah, because I, I see what's going on, Aquarius. And I can understand being pushed to these limits because I've been doing y'all readings for some time. Spirit. Aquarius is not going to make this move just yet because the rest is the four swords. So that's just a break. It ain't like saying it's the ten of swords like I ain't doing it. So you still considering it. The, you laying down contemplating about it. You might even be having dreams about this person. Spirit, tell me about make the... Dang flip. Tell me about make a move and rest for Aquarius spirit. Okay, I just saw, felt something. Did I feel something flip in my hand? See, both sides of these cards feel the same. Tell me about make a move and rest for Aquarius. 
Tell me about making move and rest for Aquarius. Y'all mad at me. Tell me about y'all like, why you telling my business, sexy? <laughs> at the bottom of the deck, you have one day, someday, somewhere, another time. <laughs> See? And here go pride. Ego. Listen, Aquarius, don't play with me. Ego, arrogance, stubborn love. And you have consequences. You like sexy. That's the consequences of the game. Check it up to the game. This is karma. They did it to me. I'm going to do it to them. Okay? So I'm not going to do it yet. I'm not going to do it yet. But this person is a little arrogant. And I'm going to let them know. If you, Oh, you think you're the only one that could do that? I could do it too. I could dig it, Aquarius. So, Aquarius, you ain't making this move just yet. But you contemplating it. Because you have deja vu, deja vu, past life, karmic lessons, repeated patterns. Because you know, you like, let them do it one more time. They do it one more time. That's what I'm hearing. They do what they do it one more time, sexy. I'm going to make a move. That's what I'm hearing. Because you feel like this person been cheating on you, doing you wrong, or something of the nature. And because of that, you considering going after somebody else. So I feel like you're talking to this person. I don't think y'all did anything yet. But you like, they got one more chance. They got one more chance. And I'm telling you, they sparked this deja vu with me. And I'm going to do it too. Spirits, tell me about deja vu for Aquarius. Are you seeing me that there? Okay. At the bottom of the deck, you have the house. You have the lilies and you have the birds. So, yeah, you waiting. You waiting to invest. You just hanging in. You just waiting. Mm -hmm. You like, let my intuition tell me they, they, mm. Aquarius, because you think they waiting a while before they leave the house. That's what you think. You think they being they making a logical decision and they got some emotions deep inside and you feel like your person just waiting. Like they trying to wait you out or something. So they waiting you out, you gonna wait them out. You like they change, I'ma change. Aquarius. <laughs> You like sexy, they hurt me. You know, they kept playing around on this connection. They keep doing the same stuff over and over again. Like, I learned my lesson. So I'm telling you, sexy, they got one more time. Well, let's look at your person. Aquarius, your person had the damn devil. The devil. Some of you are dealing with a Capricorn. You might be married to this person. But there's some toxic here. There's some addictive behavior. Something is restrictive and binding. This devil is easy breezy. Whoever this devil is, they, oh, they sexy as hell. They tempting. Oh, so it's real easy for them to get another person. However, your person is saying that it's toxic here and no relationship is easy, but it shouldn't be a war either. So y'all been fighting. Y'all been fighting. And it says you will work together and make room for improvements in your connection. So your person is tempted. They are tempted. But your person is saying, look, sexy, it's toxic between me and Aquarius. And, you know, I understand relationships ain't easy, but sometimes I feel like Aquarius and I are going at war. So I'm going to work with them to see if the connection is going to prove. So y'all both doing the same thing. Because there's security here. Again, some of y'all could be married. There is security here, and your person is confident. That they can be with you. They are. However, this is your person feels like there's an emotional whirlwind here. Your person is going through an emotional whirlwind, Aquarius. Like they're really affected by something. They are a little dramatic. They're a little unstable. Their emotions are all over the place. When it comes to some attraction. When it comes to you. So they face this truth. But it's still some toxicity here. Aquarius, your person could feel like that they might be getting um, an inkling that you are thinking about seeing somebody else and they don't know how to take it. 
But I feel like they did it first because I've been doing y'all readings and the fact that the mutual energy is the Knight of Wands, both both of y'all fastly approaching something. But this is in and out behavior. The challenges between y'all that's causing this is this three of wands. You expecting what you was oh, you keep waiting. You tired of waiting and expecting this person. The challenge is this that it might be a false twin flame. Again, some of y'all done with the Scorpio. This was one of their cards. The challenge is this might be a false tw twin flame. If loving them leaves you feeling drained, incompatible in many ways, or deep down, you know something is not right. They're not your twin. So Aquarius, you telling me that you getting some red flags, okay? And that you and this person are on the same page. And you feel like something is not right. So you just going to wait it out. And that's the challenge. Aquarius, the challenge is, is that somebody being real selfish with self-love. I know self-love means something different, but depending on the, the type of reading I'm doing, if this was a general reading, I'll tell you, yeah, you need to love yourself. This ain't that. So let me read my cards because I can feel y'all already. So Aquarius, you telling me this person is selfish. They want to do everything their way and it's frustrating you. Now you get it. Yeah, and the challenge is that some it's like the connection is drifting apart. It's like y'all slowly parting away, disconnecting and detaching. So it's like there's a reconciliation here, but it's a catch. Because something better balance out is what you're telling me. It better be an equal give and take. So let's get your person's energy right now. Spirit. What is Aquarius' person's energy towards Aquarius? What is Aquarius' person's energy? So your person does want to spend quality time with you, Aquarius. You know, they want to, they want to spend quality time with you. Y'all may have recently took a walk in the park, you know, um, just shared some good times. Spirit, what is Aquarius' person's energy towards Aquarius? What is Aquarius' person's energy towards Aquarius? Okay, I'm sure that's supposed to say health matters. So your person might not be that your person might be sick. They might not be feeling well, or you might not be feeling well. And so y'all spending a lot of time together, sweeping shit under the rug. So Aquarius, your person is sweeping some shit under the rug. I'm let you know this right now. They could be be sweeping some shit under the rug about their health or about how much time y'all spending together so Aquarius I want you to know your person is sweeping some shit under the rug spirit okay as wardrobe out with the old in with the new so that's what your person sweeping under the rug Aquarius okay your person is sweeping something under the rug about wanting to be with something new okay so I'm just letting you know now, take this for what you want. If it's vice versa, it's vice versa. If it's not your read, check out your rising Venus and moon placements. But I feel like you already know something ain't right and you're being awakened to it. Because I remember that damn title card, okay? Somebody got um cabin fever or some shit. Spirit, what does uh, uh, Aquarius' person energy towards Aquarius? What does Aquarius' person energy towards Aquarius? What is Aquarius' person? See? Vacation me, please. How Stella got her groove back. So maybe they want to go away with you, or maybe they want to be left alone. Maybe your person want to get their groove on with you. Maybe they want to get their groove on somewhere else because... Sweeping shit under the rug, out with the old, in with the new. Spirit, tell me more about vacation me, please, for Aquarius' this person. Twin flames. So, your person could be feeling really attracted to you, and they want to go away with you, or they're being attracted to something else. What's at the bottom? Yeah, see, because I know I'm feeling something popper. Player, multiple people 
inner issue, smooth talker, smooth criminal, used to hookups, missing in action. So, Aquarius, your person be going missing in action, okay? Because they are attracted to other things. Because that's how I'm feeling like they out here in these streets. And what they sweeping under the rug is they are, um, there is somebody new here, okay? Your person is one of them egotistical alpha male go after what it is they want type of people. So, let's see the potential outcome from you and your person. The potential outcome for your, you and your person is death. Some of you could be dealing with a Scorpio. Something is trying transforming here it's very magical there's a magical transformation happening here somebody could be into something old to begin something new because death that, that's what death is and there's something old to begin something new okay somebody wants some i'm missing a card okay let me take it from the top over here somebody is like they just want some peace they want sexual healing peaceful sexual healing okay um the potential outcome is there's a heart fog here mixed signals i'm telling you mixed signals blocked emotions clutter so whether this is you or your partner Mixed signals, blocked emotions the clutter and somebody is over here taking a closer look like can this work because I'm confused. Can this work? I'm confused. You know, because I somebody wants some sexual healing, some peaceful sexual healing, okay? And somebody could be manipulating things to make something in so they could go after something new. I feel like that Aquarius, this is a messy situation. So Aquarius, Aquarius, Aquarius. This has been your edition of Sexy or Messy, and I do say it's messy. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe. Hit the notification bell, Aquarius, if you would like to be notified the next time I go live or upload a video. Peace, Aquarius, and mm, I don't know what to say. I know these suckers are clueless So better watch your mouth because she really do this There's no need to speak because she know what the name